of Americans are keeping their eyes on the United States Supreme Court as it weighs Arizona's strict anti-immigration law. Students in Washington and Lee School of Law's Immigration and Citizenship program and their professor are watching more intently than most. The decision could have a big impact on the work they do. And it seemed like the justices were really receptive to the state police power argument, um, which is different because they didn't address um, whether the discriminatory element of conducting stops based on what a person looks like and who they think their race would be. That wasn't addressed. Arizona's controversial law allows law enforcement officers to question and detain anyone they have reasonable suspicion to believe is an illegal immigrant once they've made lawful contact, such as a traffic stop. They're, they're becoming more interested in participating in enforcement, whereas in the past, um, I think at the state and local level, they, they were happy to keep it to the federal government. Um, but I think you're starting to see more police and law enforcement, um, you know, pull people over and detain them and, and hand them over to uh, immigration if they think they're undocumented. If Arizona's law is upheld by the justices, Haas and Dean say, it's likely more states will adopt similar policies. But that doesn't mean immigration reform is unlikely or impossible. What I think is likely to happen is less legislative reform and more regulatory reform. Um, and we've already seen that. We've seen that in June of last year. There was a huge announcement that the, uh, you know, the agency was going to um, stop uh, deporting individuals who were, or, or they were going to exercise favorably prosecutorial discretion toward individuals who had lengthy ties in the U.S., who um, had large numbers of positive equities that could be presented and that those cases would be, in essence, terminated and those individuals permitted to stay in the United States. While the national political debate rages, the students working at W. Nell's clinic are focusing on doing whatever they can to help their clients. Third year Hannah Jamar remembers when she realized that deportation really meant the one immigrant. She was like kind of like talking about her relationship with her daughter and how her kids were like, oh, mom, it's an immigration thing, no big deal, because all of her children are, are U.S. citizens. Um, and she was like, no, it is a really big deal. You don't understand, like, they can send me home. Like, I may never be able to come back. We might all have to go to Mexico. For the Rockbridge Report, I'm Eleanor Kennedy.